A lot of times depression makes you isolate yourself. It's like a constant fight and a lot of self-harm. That led me down a, a dark path that I'm still currently trying to find my way out. But that was before I got to know Conrad. I wanted an older brother that I could base my actions off of, that I could look up to, but I didn't have that. Sam does not have the storybook autism, the students who get elected prom king or prom queen, kick the last field goal in a football game. My brother was not that. He's categorized under severe autism. He wasn't the brother that I wanted. His behavior can be off and on. Mama. 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 Transitions are kind of hard with him. He does not like moving. Let's go. This way. For example, like picking him up and then taking him to Whataburger. On his good days, he'll just get up and go with me. He'll like, he'll be thinking, oh, I get french fries from Whataburger with, with my brother, like, this is cool. And then on his off days when he doesn't want to do anything, like, I have to fight him into the car. Juice. Juice? No. Can we get some juice here? My parents spend a lot of time focusing on Sam. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet. I always thought I was a burden to my parents because they had to take care of my brother and me and they could have not had me and made the world really good for him. Home? Yeah? Let's go. So I pushed my parents away. I didn't have many close friends that I could talk to about it. I didn't want to burden them with stuff I was going through and make the moment that we were having at that point sad. I've seen it ruin relationships. I just didn't have anyone to talk to at that point. I just thought it would be a lot easier to type it out. One night, I just sat down and I wrote this letter to my parents. Dear Mom and Dad, I am writing you because I do not know how to express myself in spoken words. Over the past years I have gone downhill. I feel a lot of what I have done has let y'all down and I hate that feeling. I make myself stay up late just because I say I don't even deserve sleep. I make myself feel like I didn't deserve anything. This hatred toward myself caused me to hate others and not want to be around them. It caused me to be lonely inside and made me feel like I was not capable of anything. I built up so much anger, I just couldn't take it anymore. I whacked myself in the head and punched myself in the face, banged my head on tables and steering wheels and thrust myself onto objects. I've tried many times to cut myself and I eventually did it. That's the letter I sent to my parents. But that was before I got to know Conrad. That's one of the aha moments of my life. I met Conrad in the Special Olympics Unified Club, a club that unifies students with special needs and neurotypical students. The Unified Club has really taught me how to communicate in different ways. 
is Connor, do you think he's good at driving? He yeah, don't see me safe. The only thing really different about Conrad is he can't speak. Connor, you want to be best friends with James? People always come up and ask me, oh, how does Conrad communicate? And then I ask Conrad, hey, should we tell them how you communicate? And he'll give me a straight no. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh, man, I, I'm sorry. Like, I can't tell you. Like, Conrad says no. And they're like, I didn't see what he, what he did. Like, I don't know. I still don't know. Did you do No Shave November, Conrad? I can see you have a little bit, little bit right there. He communicates with his eyes. So yes is like his eyes just moving pretty much. And then no is his tongue sticking out. Got to make yourself look good, man. For the ladies. He can do what he wants to do. He just does it in a different way. Do you want to sleep here tonight? Yeah, that's a straight no. We would go eat, get burgers, chocolate milkshakes. We go to Target. Oh, which one do you want to try first, man? We go to the speaker aisle, and we try out every single We're speaker. Oh, full blast. And then we run away. Run. He loves to listen to chill music. You think Pink Floyd or Ed Sheeran? Pink Floyd? Good decision. I shouldn't buy one, right? If you were looking for me, I was probably with Conrad. Hey. One, two, three. Conrad is the first person with a disability that I've really gotten to know very well besides my brother. Getting into the community just really opened up all this stuff to learn about, all this stuff to do. Was he happy to see you at school? Your tongue's moving, so I'm gonna say that's a no. A no? <laughs> it just added more that I can talk to my parents about. But I'm, I'm still not, don't have the relationship that I want with my parents. When I'm with Conrad, that's like pure joy that I feel. Conrad made me realize it's not just my brother's version of autism that is the disability. And that really opened up my eyes that, oh, Sam is capable of succeeding. Conrad gave me that feeling of friendship that boiled over into having more of a friendship with Sam. It's really taught me to love my brother. How to accept my brother. How to, how to interact with my brother. Doesn't matter that he has autism. I need to help him through life. I need to protect him. There's reasons to look up to him. <laughs> 